John 6.49 Patres vestri manducaverunt in deserto mana, et mortui sunt. Your fathers ate manna in the wilderness, and they died. The big story in this verse, as we're continuing with Jesus' bread of life discourse, is this compound verb form here at the end, mortui sunt. This comes from the verb morior, which is a third conjugation verb, and it's a deponent verb, meaning that though our form seems passive, the meaning actually is active. So, they died, and one of the things we have to remember with these compound forms is the first element is declinable, must be declined in order to match in number and gender the thing or person that it's describing. So if we were talking about a woman, for instance, named Aurelia, we would have to say mortua est, she died. Mortuus est, Gaius. Mortuum, conceivably, est, I don't know, something neuter in gender. So that also means we have to watch out for plural number when we're talking about multiple people dying, expiring, we have to say mortui sunt. Both parts of that compound verb have to change. Equally, we could say mortui sunt if we were talking about uh, multiple female or feminine subjects. So the rest of this is relatively straightforward. Patres vestri, nice obvious phrase here that we've seen before. One thing I have to remind my beginning Latin students of is that a noun and a pronoun or adjective can match in number, case, and gender, even if they don't actually look the same. And this is a good example. We've got second declension forms here in the second word and third declension, a third declension form here in the first word, but both are nominative, plural, masculine, even though, again, they don't actually look the same. So those noun adjective pairings are important to encounter and to become familiar with in the beginning stages of one's Latin learning. Endings won't always match visually, even though they match in terms of number, case, and gender. Manduca verunt, third person plural, perfect, active, indicative, from the first conjugation verb manducare here, which we've talked about on a number of occasions. In deserto, in the wilderness, in a deserted place, in a place where there are few other people. And then we also probably want to note that mana is an indeclinable noun. You might have wondered about its form here. It's also a neuter noun because it's a loan word from Hebrew.